Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are gonna be kind of following up with the last video that I uploaded where I talked all about infected piercings and what to look for and what's bad, what's good, you know, things like that. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the opposite. We're gonna be talking all about healing piercings and what to look for in a healing piercing and what is normal. So again, first, I just wanna start off by saying I'm not a professional. If you are someone out there who has a question about your own personal piercing, it is always is the best route to go and talk to your own personal piercer and get their advice. I am just someone on here who likes to share my own personal experience with all of my own piercings. And another thing I want to say is healing for everybody can be different. Not everyone has the exact same healing process. There are obviously things that everyone does experience with the healing piercing, but as far as like how long it takes to heal a piercing or, you know, different techniques, things like that, you know, everyone is just different. So a few of the signs of healing piercings is obviously you are going to be a little bit on the tender side when you do get a needle with a foreign object shoved through a part of your body. Obviously, it is going to send signals to your brain that, ouch, that did kind of hurt. And during the healing process, you will also experience a little bit of tenderness, a little bit of soreness with that piercing as well. So if you are someone who did just get a piercing and you notice that it is a little bit tender or a little bit sore, just know that it is very, very normal. Sometimes that can last up to a week or two weeks max, all depending on what kind of piercing you get, things like that. Because again, not every area of your body that you get pierced is is going to have the same healing. You know, some parts may be more sensitive than others. Some may be oral piercings, tongue piercings, eyebrow piercings. So just keep that in mind. Another thing you will notice is you will experience a little bit of swelling. That's typically why when you do go and get a new piercing, your piercer will give you a little bit longer jewelry than normal. It's totally okay. They are only doing that because when you do get a new piercing, your body's natural reaction is to swell a little bit. And that longer jewelry is going to kind of accommodate for that swelling that you may experience. Another thing that you will notice is you will notice a little bit of pus or lint that comes out of the piercing. Sometimes it can be clear, white, a little off-white. That Again, that is totally normal. That's just, again, your body's natural way of healing. And then sometimes if you go to sleep and you wake up the next morning and you start to see little crusties around the piercing, again, that is totally normal as well. That's just all part of the healing process. Just make sure that when you do wake up in the morning, you give it a nice sea salt soak and those crusties will come right off with no issue. So some tips that I have for you guys to make a piercing kind feel a little bit faster is always make sure that you are doing everything with nice clean hands. Don't go and scrub a toilet and then touch your new piercing. So just always make sure you are washing your hands with antibacterial soap. Make sure you wash them for at least 30 seconds. Make sure that you are cleaning your new piercing at least one to two times a day. You don't want to really go over that. You don't want to go under that because over cleaning is not very good and under cleaning is not very good obviously because that could lead to infection and you know just kind of yucky things like that another thing is do not play with your piercing i know a lot of people kind of go back and forth on do i twist it do i move it no you really don't need to it's not necessary just kind of leave the piercing alone in my personal experience i don't know if anyone else has experienced this but the more you leave your piercing just be and just clean it regularly and just let it heal in its own natural time it will be a lot better but if you're someone who constantly moves and plays with the piercing you may experience a little bit more irritation and a longer healing time another thing is don't ever change the jewelry too early i know a lot of people will get a piercing and they'll be you know shopping online saying oh my god I want to wear this jewelry. I want to wear this jewelry. I want to wear this one. I want to wear this one. And that's totally fine. But make sure that you are giving your piercing enough time to heal before you are changing it. Because if you change it too quickly, you're going to irritate the piercing. If you don't, you know, clean it properly, you're going to run the risk of infection or hypertrophic scarring, keloids, things like that. So if you get a piercing, make sure you listen to your piercer. If they say, okay, don't change this for four weeks. Don't change this for six weeks. They really do mean what they say, so just kind of leave it be and let it be until it fully heals. Then once it does fully heal, you can change it every single day if you want. But in, for the initial healing process, it's best to just leave the jewelry that they give you in there because especially if a jewelry, if your piercing is very fresh and it is very swollen and you take out that long jewelry and put in something really short, you do run the risk of the piercing swelling over top of that jewelry, which has happened before to some people and you have to get it surgically removed. That is not a good thing. That's why they say to just leave the initial jewelry in for the healing process. Every single time I get a new piercing, I do notice for my body and for me personally, it does take a little bit longer than usual to for the piercing to heal than other people. I don't know what it is, but I guess my body is just like 
My body just does not like when I get new piercings, so I always leave it in for as long as possible before I start changing it. That's the thing with piercings, is you have to be very patient. I know piercings look really cool and they're really exciting and they're a way of expressing yourself, but it's very, very important that you just listen to your piercer and just let it be and be as patient as possible. Piercings and patience go hand in hand. And that's really it, you guys. Those are all of the kind of tips and tricks and signs of healing piercings that I thought you all should know about. Hopefully this was helpful to some of you, especially for those of you who are watching this video who just got a new piercing. If this video was helpful for you, make sure you go down and give this video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you follow me on all my social media links. Those are always in the description box as well. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!